We are students of G H Rasoni Vidya Niketan Nagpur, and today we will be presenting on the topic finding exoplanets using NASA's Kepler data. The question arises: So, what exactly is an exoplanet? An exoplanet is any other planet which is outside the solar system, and they also have possibilities for future habitation. Our project focuses on finding these exoplanets. Where where there can be future colonization among the many other exoplanets which have been found in the past year, the first evidence of an exoplanet was given in 1970, whereas it wasn't confirmed till 1992. The NASA launched its Kepler Space Telescope in 2009, and it continued to provide data till 2018. Our project uses various machine learning algorithms on these data. for the prediction of these possible exoplanets humans are defined by being creative by making more discoveries we are always intrigued by the thought of finding signs of life apart from that on our planet time and again we look into space for these answers and in our project we are trying to do the same Ever since NASA made its data public, we got a more clearer picture of the planets that can be explored for our future habitation. That is the exoplanets. And hence, the justification for selecting this title is to explore outer space along with polishing our machine learning skills. The problem we are trying to tackle through our project is using machine learning algorithms on Kepler telescope data set provided by NASA and predict the possibilities of a celestial body being an exoplanet with the help of neural networks For finding exoplanets, scientists have determined several methods, but the ones which were found to be most effective are transit method, radial velocity, and gravitational microlensing. We took data from NASA's exoplanet archive, and after applying the required edits, we got data which looks something like this. We downloaded this data. and perform few python operations so that to obtain a more visual looking representation of data and here are the few screenshots of the data which we got after performing the python operations after all this processing we used flourish a website used for data visualization It gave us a running bar chart showing the use of different methods over the years. The transit method is a photometric method that aims indirectly in detecting the presence of two or more exoplanets orbiting a star. It consists of measuring luminosity of a star in order to detect continuous decrease in luminance. Like here, the Kepler telescope detects the dip in light intensity coming from a larger body. Light curve is an application to analyze tests and Kepler series data in Python. Our reason behind choosing Light curve was it is an open source and community developed platform which is built to analyze astronomical flux time data and this not only reduces the barrier for students and ast astronomers 
who are interested in TESS and Kepler's but also provides a high quality platform with many tutorials. Lightcurve also provides us with high quality building blocks and here is a rem running demonstration of the Lightcurve software which we use to find potential planet candidates. After analyzing the data, we had to convert the pictorial data into numerical flux values so that algorithms could be applied which can be used to generate predictions. Here is a depiction of the pictorial data converted into a table of numerical flux values. As explained before, we will be using the transit method because of its success. There are four steps involved in identifying a transit. The step one is data acquisition which is also the light curve production. The second step is light curve processing. The third step in identifying a transit is detecting transit signal. We detect periodic signals and then we can check if it is a transit or not. The fourth step, we identify if the periodic signals are transits or not. So the fourth step is identifying transit signals. After building the model, we needed to apply some algorithms in order to create the machine learning model. The first algorithm which we used was CNN or Convolutional Neural Networks. These are specialized neural networks which use convolutional convolutions in place of general multiplication matrix in at least one of their layers. The architecture of CNN include convolutional layers, pooling layers, fully connected layers, receptive field and weights. The objective of finding an exoplanet has always been to find an Earth-like planet. Our Earth falls in the habitable zone of Sun and that's why we have life here. A habitable zone is a distance from a star from where liquid water could exist on planet's surface. Habitable zones are also called Goldilocks zones where the conditions might be just right neither too cold nor too hot for life. Hence, we have inserted few basic criteria for a habitable planet and train a model and identify potential habitable planets. In the habitability test, we have used the mass and orbit values for habitability prediction. Coming to comparing our model with other models, we have used light curve and its flux data to build our model, whereas in other models, stellar properties are used. We have used a habitability test, while other models don't have it. Concluding, we saw how scientists use transit light curve to find a potential exoplanet. We used a machine learning model to classify the converted flux data into exoplanet and non-exoplanets. We also ran a habitability test to find a potential habitable planet. And these were the informative research sites that helped us throughout the process.